In this problem, we're asked to solve an equation that involves fractional expressions or rational expressions. And by that, I just mean that we have denominators that are underneath expressions involving the, uh, involving the variable. Now, we could factor out the, uh, the fraction 1 6 times 3r plus 5, 4 3rd, or 1 3rd times 4r plus 3, but we really don't need to do that. We can just start by multiplying by the LCD. So we start with what's the least common denominator? So what's the least common multiple of 3 and 6? That would be 6. So we multiply both sides by 6. You know, multiply everything by 6. So the first part of this, we distribute the 6 to 3r plus 5 divided by 6. Well, 6 divided by 6 is just 1, so that's going to cancel and leave us with 3r plus 5. We still need to distribute the 6 to the 1, however, so that's going to be plus 6. And that equals, I'm going to do a little trick here first. Since we're multiplying by 6 and dividing by 3 on the right-hand side, we can cancel any like multiples, any factors of 3 and 6. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now all we need to do is distribute the 2. 2 times 4r is 8r. And 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to keep the coefficient on the variable positive. First we simplify 3r plus 11. That still equals 8r plus 6. And then to keep the, the coefficient on the variable term positive, I'm going to subtract 3r from both sides. You could subtract 8r from both sides and, and have the variable on the left, but then you'd end up with a negative coefficient, and I'm just trying to avoid negative coefficients. And that ends up giving us 11 equals 5r plus 6. Subtract 6 from both sides. We get 5 equals 5r. And then finally, dividing both sides by 5, we end up with r equals 1. As usual, we want to check our solution, so we'll substitute into the original equation 3 times we got r equals 1. So 3 times 1 plus 5 over 6 plus 1. And we want to know, does that equal 4 times r, which in this case we solve for r equals 1, plus 3 divided by 3. So we'll simplify on the left-hand side. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8 sixths. And that's the same thing as 4 thirds. 8 sixths is 4 thirds, plus 1. And we want to know, does that equal? 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7 thirds. And now this is the same thing as 4 thirds plus 3 thirds, because if we Write this as a fraction, 1 over 1, and then we multiply by the least common denominator of 3 over 3. We end up with 3 thirds. And again, we want to know, does that equal 7 thirds? And we do end up with 7 thirds equals 7 thirds. So our solution checks, and the solution to our equation is r equals 1.